Hey guys, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, before we jump into this vlog, I just want to say that my voiceover may sound a little funny just because I have my Invisalign on. Um, it's a whole journey that I just started, which will be explained in uh, next vlog. But I uh, just wanted to put that out there. This will be a little fun travel vlog, so enjoy. Hey guys, travel with me to Boston to see family for the weekend. I'm trying to see them more often this year, so the last time I saw them was in the spring, and now I'm visiting them for the summer season. Today's my first full day back in the New England area outside of Boston. I'm in the Newton suburb, um, and this is where I grew up ever since middle school, so it's nostalgic to be back, and um, it's good to see family too. We're in Newton Center and can get here by the Green Line. I actually suggest a visit here just because of all the trendy foodie places that have opened up recently. Every time I'm back in town, I have to hit up this coffee shop called Tate. It's super aesthetic and the food is really good too. It's actually one of my favorite coffee shops in general. There are multiple locations in Boston, so if you're in the area, definitely check one of them out. Oh my god, who is that? <laughs> That's my brother Victor. Hey! to work remotely and got myself a nice little matcha latte which was pretty good. The star of my meal was this smoked salmon breakfast sandwich. It was so so good. I think it was like decently healthy and it was definitely filling and nourishing. Total recommend. Later that night my brother and I went to Boston specifically in Fenway. We checked out the Time Out Market Food Hall, and fun fact, Chicago has one as well. But I guess each city's location has their own unique offerings. Oh my god, Matcha Cafe Maiko is a paradise for matcha lovers. It's so good. The matcha is so high quality. My first Cafe Maiko experience was in Hawaii, and I'm so glad Boston has a location. The matcha latte was so decadent and so delicious. On a different day, I was in Newton Highlands and I did some exploration. I discovered this chocolate cafe in the area and it must be new because I've never seen it before. And they were advertising paletas, which sounded so refreshing. Paletas are like Mexican fruit popsicles and I got a strawberry one with dark chocolate and it was yummy. But next time I have to come here for actual chocolates because I am a chocolate lover. Afterwards, I explored this super nice hiking spot. It's going to be my peaceful place whenever I come back home. I'm having some alone time me time in this hiking trail in my town that I never even knew existed until today. Like, that's so crazy because I grew up here ever since 2008 or 2007 middle school, you know? And it's beautiful here. It's like a real trail. It's not just like some like mini bullshit thing. <laughs> like, this is so cool. It's going to definitely be my go-to spot whenever I come back to Massachusetts. It's like so peaceful and the nature is so beautiful. Imagine when it's fall time and all the leaves turn color and you're just walking underneath them. So yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy the nature here and I'll talk to you guys later. It's the next day with my brother and I, and I couldn't resist, I had to go back to that cute chocolate cafe. This is a clip from my last vlog. I bought my brother a tote bag from a craft fair in Chicago, and I was wondering if he would like it, and he does. Look at him slay this look. Hey guys, happy Saturday! <laughs> We took the train into Boston, so here are more city excursions. We're in Faneuil Hall on our way to North End to have some seafood.
Here we arrived at Neptune Oyster. It's a place I always wanted to try, but the line has always been long. My brother was really nice to treat me because of my promotion. So thank you, little bro bro. The fish and tomato based sauce was really good and my brother got a lobster roll. Alrighty, another excursion in Boston. This time in Chinatown, we picked up some dim sum and bows for my grandma because we were going to visit her. Afterwards, we had a little walking exploration. First was Beacon Hill, which is appropriately named, oh my god, I can't even imagine how people even travel up here during the winter in the snow. But the apartments and the homes here are very aesthetic and very pretty. I'm not sure if you can find this type of architecture in Chicago. For sure not like the hills because Chicago is super flat. We ended up in Boston Commons, which is super pretty. I love the greenery. Whenever I see paved routes or trails or parks, I always think of like how good it is to run here. And this is where I would have loved to run. I ended up departing from my family to meet up with a friend who I haven't seen in so long. We went to the W Hotel to have a really cute brunch. Shout out to my gorgeous friend Fresna, <laughs> she is so cute. I also want to promote her small candle business, Good Evening Home Essentials. I'm so proud of her and I love her candles. I wrapped up my trip back home by going back to Newton Center. There's this mochi donut shop called Pondy Joy that I just had to try. Ever since I found out about it, I was craving it for days, so I couldn't leave my neighborhood without trying it. Um, and here's another perspective of Newton Center, it's super cute here. Oh my god, Lee's Burgers, what a throwback. It used to be my hot spot in high school. Yum, mochi donut time. It's a small store, grab and go, and here are the flavors of the day. They're fresh, chewy, and flavorful, nine and a half out of 10. Love this matcha one. You can really taste the matcha coming through. Also love this lemon one. It was bright and citrusy. Can't wait to try more flavors. Happy Monday, guys. It's time to go to home sweet home Chicago. I'm excited to be back in my bed and my apartment and to be in my favorite city overall. Um, feels like home there now, to be honest. Sometimes I question myself where home is and um, where my heart is when I think of home. And now I think of Chicago more than Boston and my parents' home. I feel more of like a visitor um, and a tourist when I go back to Boston. So it's just funny how my perspective has changed. I didn't realize that until now. I guess that's more if I'm talking about it and thinking about it. Goodbye to Boston. I'll see the city again in the holidays. Thank you for watching and following me. Bye.